Shalom, Shalom, Israel, giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Bachrak, Dash, the one that said the elders of GMS, <clears throat> who told us it's truth. Salutation to you, Ajum, out there, pushing his word in truth and sincerity, risking your freedom and your life to do so. Now, this is going to be really quick. As you know, uh, this has been an article that's been coming out all day. This is from Shit Hits the Fan Plan.com, which is one of my favorite websites to go to because they put a lot of work in finding articles and, and looking at the, um, the coming tensions and, and war that's coming. So n without any further ado, let's just tell you, Slovakia. It said, Iran shoots down U.S. drone, says ready for war. So Iran says that they're, they're ready for war. It says tension between the U.S. and Iran fled on Thursday when the Iranian Revolutionary Guard shot down an American drone that was said to have flown into Iranian airspace. The U.S. claims the drone flew over international territory. Right, so uh, America is trying to provoke Iran to attack it first so it can make its move. Okay? And, and, and like the elders have been saying for a very long time, Iran, they're going to they're gonna go to war with Iran and that's going to be the downfall of America. Okay? Let me get a quick scripture. This is Jeremiah 50, verse 45. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh, that he hath taken against Babylon. Babylon is America. And his purposes, that he hath purpose against the land of the Chaldeans. Chaldeans was the ancient witches. But now that's talking about the modern day uh, government officials. So it says, surely, uh, government officials of America. And, and not not only the government officials, but the so-called so-called white man in general, Esau so Edom, which is red, the red people. So surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their their habitation desolate with them. Okay, so the least of the flock is talking about the smaller nations, which would be Israel and Iran. They're gonna draw out the bigger nations. So what it says, surely he should make their desolation, uh, make their habitation desolate with him. Meaning, it's only going to be two places on the earth that's completely wiped out. And that's the land of Israel now and America. And Israel is going to provoke Iran. So it might be a situation where, you know, Israel or the Israeli state government backed by, um, Benjamin, not, not a Jew, tax Iran, or what the scriptures call Persia. And that's going to make, you know, their desolation. You see? It says, um, the drone was reportedly f flying over the state of Hamas, that critical choke point for the global oil trade, not far from where two oil tankers were recently attacked. Right, because America wants to get in Iran because Iran has the black gold, is what they call it, which is oil, which is oil. Oil controls most of the petrol dollar. Okay, the petrol dollar or the American U.S. dollar is backed by gold. I mean, backed by, not by gold, by oil. So in order to, to fully go back into power like it once was and you know, dominate the earth, if they take over Iran, all nations have to come to America for oil, okay? And that'll make America rich again. But that's not what these nations want. They're tired of America. They have nuclear tech capability. And the U.S. Army is not fit to combat with the Iranian army. The Iranian people have a million men that's ready to fight. And Iran is probably no bigger than Texas. Probably, probably smaller. But it has a million troops ready to fight. And also has China and Russia backing it. So, you know, you know Esau Edom is in, is in a hard place, between a rock and a hard place, a difficult situation. But that's according to scriptures. And it says, um, it doesn't matter which country, the Slaki, it said, we will defend 
Iran's airspace and maritime boundaries with all our might. Ali Shabkani, Secretary General of the Supreme National Security Council, was quoted as saying by state-run Islamic students news agency, it doesn't matter which country's aircraft cross our airspace. IRGC Commander Hassan Salami, 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 says shooting down the drone has sent a clear and strong message for the U.S. Iran's borders are red lines, and though Iran doesn't seek war, and though Iran doesn't seek war, Iran is ready for war. The U.S. meanwhile denies that the drone crossed into Iran's airspace and says it was an international airspace the whole time. See, because that's what Esau does. He used full flag or, or he used an event to where he can provoke you to do something. And that's the whole thing right now is knowing he can't he can't up and just attack Iran because it'd be a clear message of America doing it. So what does he do? He sends ISIS in the land of Iran, which is a proxy army, which is like if you ever played the game of chess, it's like pawns. Pawns. To get to the king, they'd be used as a sacrifice, but they would take out a lot of pieces in the meantime, okay? And that's, that's just been an MO of so-called white man. Uh, divide and conquer, us uh, uh, under the radar, attacks, guerrilla warfare. You see, it's never really straightforward. You know, he's a snake. He's the one in the grass. But the grass is cut, and we see him. So this is uh, Jeremiah 49 and 16. Thy terribleness have deceived thee in the pride of thine heart. O thou dwellest in the clefts of the rock, who lived in a caves, Caucasians, he saw Edom. See, and his terribleness have deceived him and tricked him into thing because he is so terrible in his might that he is going to continue to be terrible forever. But his terribleness has gotten to his head and it deceived him because he's going to attack Iran, but that's going to be the end game. Okay, we know it says, that holdeth the height of the hill, though thou should have made thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord. And, and, and he exactly, and that's exactly what they exalt themselves as, the eagle. Okay, American eagle says, uh, it says, particularly, I'm just going to jump down right here, particularly after the U.S. dispatched more troops to the region last week, tensions between the U.S. and Iran just won't subside, with Iran still furious over U.S. sanctions on oil sales, with Iran poised to violate its agreement under the GCPOA on a rich uranium stockpile, many are fearful that a hot war between the U.S. and Iran might erupt. If it did, some of Washington's biggest geopolitical adversaries, Russia and China, could get involved, triggering triggering World War III. Now, what does it mean to trigger something? Cause to happen or exist. Prompt, trigger off, set off, spark off. To swap off, okay? Fan the flames up. You see? Set, set in motion. To begin, to start. So it says, this will start World War Three. See? Um, and it says, the least of the flocks will draw them out. I hope I didn't know. The least, surely the least of the flocks will draw them out. And that's what's going to draw out the other geopolitical adversaries, so-called, which is Russia and China, which have nuclear capability. Uh, let me see if I can get that third quote. And it says... This is Revelations 11 and 14. The second world is past, and behold, the third world cometh quickly. And that exactly was going to happen. Third world war, which is going to lead into the deliverance of the elect of Israel, Lord willing. Um, I'm a part, Lord willing, you brothers that, that's listening to the video. Though you be very few in number, I hope you are a part too. 
So uh, with that, I just want to give all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shara, Hashem, Rakhakadash, the Monastery, the Elders, Saiwams, Saiwites, Yahweh. Until next time.